is up guys it is Bree, and today i am doing a little like iphone style vlog um it's just a lot easier to edit on my phone and quick get it up for you guys so i wanted to do a little bit of a life update just because some things are changing in my life and i thought i would update you guys and get a youtube video up and chat with you guys so i got my coffee and we're just gonna we're just gonna do some catching up so welcome welcome to the vlog okay so first is first which is probably my biggest news so far right now is that i am moving to drum roll birmingham alabama i am moving to alabama's capital um why you might ask I don't know if you guys have watched my recent video, or it wasn't even recent, but one of my videos where I talk about um, possibly going to my church's school in Birmingham. Um, I'll talk about that soon. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going or not, but when I went to tour my, that college, um, I just fell in love with the school and I just, I cried on my way home. I was like, this is, I feel like this is it. I'd rather it be the city the school like I feel like this is next and so two days later one of the girls that was a tour guide had found me two roommates that were okay that I had a cat like they didn't care they needed one more girl like all set up for me and so I was like okay rather than I go to school yet because I'm not like even finished applying yet like I just toured the school rather not I go to the school or not like these I'll save money having roommates. I'll be able to go to my church's main campus. I'll be living with two girls who are going to my church and my church's school. And like all around, I just feel like this is what God has for me next. So I've been going along with the process, also applying, and we signed our lease. I'm pretty sure it's completely signed and we're approved. So I am moving out. I have this apartment through August. Um, so I don't know exactly the date that I will be moving, but there will be a moving vlog. And I will have two beautiful roommates who are the sweetest girls ever. I haven't even met them, but it's such a God thing just how it's coming together. And I'm so excited. So that is the first update is that I am moving to Birmingham, Alabama. Now, while obviously I am like literally so excited for this, um, it is a little scary. I am not going to lie. I have just honestly been terrified to move um change is scary and i feel like moving to huntsville was such a big thing for me and such a big just learning growing experience with god and walking in obedience and just growing as an individual and it's been so sentimental and so sweet and and this city feels like home i've been in this apartment complex for two years now and so you know, I've met so many regulars that I waitress, that I serve, and just people in the church, and just people I see every day that I've just, I've just been passionate about loving on, and the thought of moving on is very scary, but at the end of the day, I know, like, like I've told you guys before, I know God brought me out here to Alabama for a reason. And I believe that we have a daily purpose and we have a bigger purpose. So our daily purpose is to just simply love on people, you know, spread the gospel, share the name of Jesus, and to share God's love with people. But our bigger purpose is like, okay, where does God want me to do that? Like, who does he want me to marry? If he wants me to get married, like, where does he want me to live? Like, things like that, I believe, are our bigger purpose. So I've been trying to live out my daily purpose while also wondering and trying to figure out like god why huntsville alabama is it a transitioning period of like going somewhere else is it just a time to spend with you and then go back to wisconsin or like is huntsville alabama my forever home like like i've just been in this two almost two years now of just just waitressing and working my butt off working two jobs and just waiting to figure out and to see why god has me here and to see what's next and so the thought of like moving on to the next step, rather that be the school or rather it just be the city of Birmingham, like I'm so excited. And it is just so crazy to see God work in my life and the way that he pulls things together and like makes everything work out has just been absolutely amazing to watch and to see. And 
Well, I'm terrified. I'm also so excited because I've been waiting for this. You know, I've been kind of frustrated waitressing and I'm just ready. I'm ready for what's next, so I'm excited. The update with the school. So I have my, I think it's my last step before I will find out if I'm accepted or not today. Um, so I have a video call and I am so nervous. I have it in about an hour. Um, I'm so nervous, but I have been looking forward to this all week. I'm just, I'm so excited to figure out if this is what God has for me. And even if Highland, or even if the school isn't what God has for me, I, I know like with Birmingham and these two girls that there's something and that's what God has for me next, rather it be in school or not. And so I'm just really excited to know answers. You know, if I, if I get accepted and once I find out whether or not I'm accepted, I'm hoping to go home and see my family before school starts if, if I'm accepted, you know. So it's just a lot of, it's just a crazy time because a lot of it revolves around being accepted or not you know, when I'm moving, if I'm going to go home and see my family. So it's just a really exciting time. And so my last step towards that is today. And it has been such a journey, just applying in general, um, getting that all figured out. And so I'm just so excited. You can probably see it all in my face. I have been reading the book Radical by David Platt, I believe it is. That book is so good. Let me tell you guys, if you have never read it, I really recommend going to get it. It is just a book about having radical faith and um, how our church has kind of fixed Christianity and fixed our image of God to be what we want and what's comfortable. But the book is about seeing the reality of everything and stepping out and having a radical faith and having a radical relationship with God. And, um, it's just been so cool just to see how that book has changed the way that I view things and just kind of push me in. Um, so yeah, if you haven't read that book, I highly recommend I don't really have much else in my life that has been different. Um, I, if you guys haven't seen, I made a video talking about, um, talking about people who go through paths of, you know, criminal records and crime and have made mistakes and have ended up in jail or prison. I made a video about that. I think it's called John... Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Um, I'm crying in the video. I have a gray sweatshirt on if you want to go watch it. But basically I talked about someone who was released into my old city um, with a sex offense charge. And my heart just broke to see the comments of what people had to say to him. And so for months now, I've been waiting to hear back to get involved in the prison um, outreach team. And so finally, last Sunday was my first Sunday serving in with my church in the jail. And so I actually got to go into a jail and sit with the ladies and watch the church service with them. And that has just been amazing because that's been something I've been wanting to for so long now. And finally, I was able to do that and just, I don't know, like, and I've talked to a few people about it who aren't Christians, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just so passionate about it, and they're like, why? Like, they, they made the decision that caused them to be there. Like, it's their fault. And it's just made me realize how much my heart breaks for people because they don't want that for themselves. You know, they don't really want the addiction. They don't really want to do whatever they did that caused them to be there. They don't want to live there. They don't want to have that shame and guilt held over them for however long they're going to. It could be the rest of their lives. You know, like they don't want that. And my heart is just so passionate for people and showing them the love and forgiveness that I've received that I'm not worthy of. You know, like that, I deserve to be in that jail in God's eyes. You know, I deserve to have that criminal record, that shame and guilt, but my mistake was just different and I didn't end up there you know but still I've received forgiveness and grace and mercy and that same gift is there for them and I'm just so passionate about sharing it and so it's just been so cool to finally get that rolling and to be to start that journey and just to to be a part of that so I'm so excited for that too I feel like I've said I'm so excited like 10 times but I don't know guys, it's just been um, 
a cool, crazy time. I don't think I've ever been as stressed as I am, but I've also never, I haven't been excited as I am since I've moved to Alabama. Like, this excitement, I haven't had besides when I moved, when I'm going through the process of moving to Alabama. So it's just very exciting. I need to stop saying exciting. It's very cool to see God's hand over my life and just how he wants to use me and it's just been so cool but i think that is really all i have to update you guys on um my video call is in like an hour so i need to like play some worship music and just give it to god and chill because i'm so nervous so i think i'm gonna end it here i'm excited for moving vlogs and vlogs in birmingham and for you guys to meet the girls that i'm rooming and for me to meet the girls that I'm rooming with, I can't wait to meet them. So it's just these next two, three months are just going to be crazy. But I'm so excited. I'm about to go to a meetup in Kentucky with all my TikTok friends in July, the middle of July. And I can't wait to be around them. Like, it's just, I'm so excited. And I can't wait to just see what God wants to do with me and see where he leads me to get some answers that I've been waiting for for a while. So my biggest advice that I want to leave you guys with and just some encouragement is sometimes you go through a long waiting season. And I want to tell you that I was in a two-year waiting season of literally working my butt off day in and day out, waitressing, not having friends, not, not doing anything. All I did was waitress. Um, and I first want to tell you, get involved in your church. Find a community. Like, you're not supposed to do life alone. I shouldn't have been doing life alone for that long. But I also want to encourage you and tell you that in the waiting season, like, draw close to God. Learn about Him. You won't, you won't know how to hear Him or know how to follow Him if you don't learn who He is. And you do that by spending time in His Word. And it is the biggest blessing to find God and to find a deep relationship with him and to pursue a deep relationship with him and I've done that within these past two years of just waiting to see why God has me here and I wouldn't change it for the world and even though like I look back and all I did was waitress and I don't have anything to really show for it financially or physically like like my I'm a whole different person than I was when I moved here and it's so crazy and it's such a blessing and and I'm telling you, like, there's no plan better than the plan that God has for you. And I easily could have gave up and been like, you know what? I'm not going to get accepted to that college. I'm not going to find roommates in Birmingham. I don't know anyone. You know, I'm not going to be able to afford rent by myself in Birmingham. I'm not going to, you know, I miss my family. I'm going to go home. I could, I could have taken the easy route, but I kept pushing month after month, two years of just working my butt off, waitressing. But I knew that God had a plan for me here. And finally, I'm to the point where I am going on to the next step. And I can tell you that it is 1,000% worth it. And the joy that you will find in knowing you're pursuing God's plan for you is the best thing ever. And just keep pushing, keep being patient, keep seeking Him. And He will guide you, and He will show you, and He will bless you. And He'll take care of you. So that's my encouragement for the day. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for everyone who has supported me and just followed me in this journey and I'll keep you updated about school and all of that stuff. So I love you guys. Um, and yeah, here we go to Birmingham, Alabama. I'm so excited, but I love you guys and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.